Fatty with Fire, I'm here. Doing a video on my Savage Model 1907. This particular gun is uh, actually mistakenly called the 1905 because of the patent number right here, or well, patent date. It says 1905, it, these, di these guns didn't go into production until 1907. So they're not 1905s. Uh, let's make sure it's safe. Yeah. There we go. Cool thing about these guns is from 1907 until 1920, they were made in 32 ACP just like this one. From 1913 to 1920, there was also a line made in 380. So the 380 ones are a little bit more difficult to get a hold of, but they're not impossible. You have the 1907, which is this version. They came out with a 1915. And it had different, you know, grooves up here, slightly different frame, different hammer assembly. And the 1917, which had a different, totally different frame, different slide, and slightly different hammer assembly, you know, small differences. Interesting thing about this gun is it's the little brother of the gun designed to compete against the 1911 in the 1906 pistol trials for the U.S. military. And... Savage made 288 of the 45 ACP versions of this, and I'll try to post a picture right about now. But we all know who won that competition. Yeah, Colt. And there's a lot of thought that Colt cheated because Colt supplied the ammunition, and it is thought that the ammunition supplied was hotter than specs that were sent out for manufacturing and design of the 45 caliber versions of this. Savage marketed this gun as 10 shots quick because it had a 10 shot double stack magazine. I, if I'm not mistaken, I might be. I think this is the first detachable magazine that's double stacked that is grip inserted. I may be mistaken on that, you know, so don't quote me 100% on it. And back here, when you cock the gun, you may think this is a hammer. It's not. It's actually a striker. It's connected. To the firing pin. That's actually the back end of the firing pin. So, you know, sights on the gun, as you would expect, are not very good. Just basic, you know, military sights. Again, it was this is more of a gut gun. Shoots great. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm fairly accurate with this gun, considering this gun was made in 1910. So it is 103 years old, and it still shoots, and it's still pretty darn accurate, and it's in. Pretty dang good condition for being that old. So let's go to a quick shooting video and we'll be right back. As you can see, the gun is a very good shooter. Recoil is very light because of the 32 ACP. Uh, another interesting little tidbit on the gun, the French bought about 40,000 of these guns from 1914 to 1917. And the, you know, the, the French ones have like a little lanyard, lanyard loop you know, down here on the bottom because it was a military gun. Uh, you know, again, French you know, never really had powerful weapons you know they you know these are the same people that invented the show show rifle you know the piece of junk that's a different story but let's show you a quick takedown because it's actually fairly easy to disassemble this gun it's a hell of a lot easier than a 1911 and the 45 caliber version of this disassembled the exact same way so drop the mag rack the slide and rotate the safety up to lock it Take your fingers, pinch the hammer assembly back, and rotate it 90 degrees and pull it right out. Drop it while holding the trigger. There's a slide, recoil spring, barrel. Then in here, you have the trigger parts. Let's see if I can get these out. Yep, 
get the extension rod or the the trigger plunge or whatever this little part's called. Uh, and then you got the trigger itself. Some of the later models, like the 1915 or the 1917, have a trigger bar. That's what it's called, trigger bar. Haha. <laughs> I have a trigger bar milled into the frame. You know, and it's an actual little piece that comes out on this side, but that's on the inside right here. This one doesn't have that. It's a more simplified design, I feel. Uh, I've yet to figure out how to take the safety out, and don't really think I need to. Uh, one thing, do not take off the grips. Do not do it. You will break these grips trying to get them off to clean the gun. Just leave the grips on. If you need, you know, if your grips are already cracked and broken, buy new ones and just slip them on. They slip straight in this way, you know, from in grooves in the outer part of the frame. But do not try to take these off. You will break the grips. I've seen pictures doing it. I watched a video of a guy do it. It was kind of funny. Let's put it back together, actually. So you start with the trigger, trigger bar, rotate it down into place. And get everything lined up. And it figures it doesn't want to line up. There we go. Set the recoil spring back in the slide. Set the barrel back in, you know, make sure it's the proper direction. Now set the barrel lug inside the groove. Move this out. Oh, come on. So set the barrel lug, the bottom lug right here, into that groove. Just like that. We get everything. It's hard to do this on camera. Back out. Take the slide all the way back and lock it in place. Take the hammer assembly and I do not recommend taking this apart. A lot of little parts in here that are very difficult to get back in. I took it apart once and it was a booger to get back together. But just take it, put it in, you know, 90 degrees like that. Pinch the hammer down a little bit just to clear it. Get it flat. There you go, it's easy. If you have any questions on the gun or have you know more information on this pistol, please in the description box below, you know, put it in there. I'm all open, I'll answer any questions. You know, it's a fun gun to shoot. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, and wait for more videos to come. It's Fatty with Firearm. Thanks for watching.